Brian Little. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another video. As you can see behind, there are tons of supercars. In fact, to be precise, 55 supercars. Where are we exactly? It's called the Catch the Camel. Now viewers before who have seen my videos would know that Catch the Camel is already, this is the third uh, season or the third time this has been uh, happening and the turnout is pretty insane. Look at that so many cars in there are and by the way the first ever spotting like a proper spotting of a 488 pista and a ton of so many amazing cars we are going to be going for a two lap uh, two parade laps on the Yas Marina circuit yes this is where I am currently at the Yas Marina circuit and this is the pits by the way this is the same very pits where the Hamilton Lewis Hamilton, Vettel and Fernando Alonso have all walked down on this very stretch during a Formula One race. I am super excited. Oh, and there is another thing and that is that if you see that last hurricane, I have been hooked up by the organizers in this hurricane to go on the track. Yes, I am going to be going in this hurricane and I've already met the owner his name is Hiren and I am going to be taking a short sort of interview understanding his car as well because he seems like a genuine petrol head and in fact he's going to be also introducing me to the Ferrari 488 Pista guy I am going to be interviewing him as well anyways without further ado let's start showing you all these amazing cars of it this is the same very car i am going in it's the hurricane performante yes that's the car i am going in and this is another hurricane a lamborghini aventador and a ton of other there are two audi r8s y70 s hurricane and the rear car more interesting ones are still inside so the more interesting cars are right in front of you check this out the brand new aston martin vantage and not just one but two of them uh, it's too dark but let me show you from the other side oh, i've always seen this color in on 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 a photo or a video but seeing this in live it's a stunning color I don't know why people hate but it's a good car and this dark blue and these cars are also going on the track now there is the Lamborghini Urus now we have two of them I can't find the other one but check this one out it's a 650s but a very special one now this 650s is an mso version and hence you see the wheels they look so cool on this black color and to make sure it's an mso 
you have that even this is carbon fiber the sideboard is carbon fiber and a lot of bits inside are carbon fiber i wish i can show you from inside but this car is locked and maybe i'll show you in the video when we go on the track and what an interesting piece of car is this i love these it's a 599 gto what and um, and in fact even this will be going on the track on the track and it's a black you, you know what people always think of a ferrari as a red car but to be honest with you this looks stunning pretty good cool. look at the exhaust tips twin quad quad exhausts on both sides that's the diffuser and pretty much all i can think of in a 599 what a spec what a spec right right so i am at the pit lane and look at that another euro is going out on the track but what an amazing day oh by the way it's been pouring down since two days but it's just that it's 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 just opened up today like it's just stopped raining as you can see there are puddles of water everywhere it rained a lot and trust me a lot and i wasn't hopeful that you know this this track day would happen but it did and i am glad because i can't wait to go on the track now this is the same very pit lane again i know i've been cribbing about it but this is the same very pit lane which is used by the Formula 1 teams, all these garages and everything and to be standing out there, oh, it feels so, so good inside the Ramoka starting up and starting to go on the track out there. this kind gentleman has agreed to take me on this international track i mean we, we were just discussing that that you know that there is this um, um feeling that you know when you go on an international track yep. and when you're driving on it and when you know that the hamiltons and the vettels and everyone have alonso's and all have just crossed this same very stretch that's right and to be driving on that boat. absolutely and trust me on this this guy is no short of being fast because I've seen he's resisting himself right now. He is, is what we were discussing behind before this video started recording. So yeah, tell, tell me about your car because it looks pretty impressive to be honest with you. I really love the stitching, the green and the black combination. Thank you very I've much. I've always been a fan of it. Uh, so yeah, you. yeah. Well, it's just a normal standard hurricane to be honest on the, um, you know, like a, it's a rear wheel rather than the all wheel drive I decided to go for. So a lot of fun to drive uh -huh. controlling handling is still amazing you can put your foot down still no issues go on the sport mode the gear changes are absolutely phenomenal oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, from so far all the cars i've ever driven no car like this it is so much fun and there's just no way to describe a hurricane apart from actually do it oh yeah it, love it i just enjoy the sound and oh the yeah 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 I'm and that is the reason I'm finding it pretty difficult to concentrate right now <laughs> inside because in front of me I have another footage I'll be showing you all with that as well but in front of me there's there's literally like a train of supercars all around us everywhere around us as you can see <laughs> so, I think my viewers would like that for sure yes <laughs> so, when I say he's no short Than enough, and if these guys were let loose, I think yeah, we pretty much have like 
cars belting down on this track. Absolutely. So, yeah. So, have you driven other Lamborghinis as well? The Performante, yeah. uh, the Aventador, uh -huh. uh, all amazing cars as well. But the most fun with the everyday use or regular use is got to be the Hurricane. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, the handling, uh, the suspension, the seating positions, the gear changes. You can take this on a day to day drive, take it to work, back, everything. Easy. You take it on the track, it turns into an absolute animal and a beast. Oh, yeah, that I can see. Yep. Already, Whereas you got I, the Aventador, a little bit more rough, yeah, a yeah. bit more uncomfortable, not as an everyday car. And because but, it, it doesn't have a proper, uh, the gearbox is a bit of an issue because yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The it wasn't a double clutch. Yeah, it's a double, double clutch, clutch, so clutch. yeah. Uh, Whereas this one, the, the gear changes are so quick, they're so rapid, they're so oh, much yeah. fun. And you know, you don't even feel the gear changes as much. Put it in a sport, a sport and uh, coaster mode, you start feeling it, but it's not aggressive. So that's where the fun actually comes in. Whereas with the Aventador, every time I've taken it on the track, it's just after a little while, your neck hurts, you're like, you know what, I'm done, take it off the yeah. track. But there are people who love it, it's each of their own. I mean, yeah, there are yeah. each of their own. There is no sound like the Aventador in all fairness. That oh, yeah. is oh, a yeah. beast of a car. It, that it, for a while, beast. it has been like a poster car for me. Yeah. Like, yeah. But. We're back to normal again. <laughs> oh yeah, you're back to sober again. So yeah, I think this guy is pretty much if you ever want to know about Lamborghinis, I think proper oh, advice, yes, yes, proper advice. And Yeah, that was a turn, yes, if you don't. Yeah, those were the tires screeching, yes. This guy is mad. Just the tires getting warmed up, it's all good. Ready for oh, time yeah, there. Oh, yeah, warming up, but then, yeah. <laughs> but let me be honest, if I was in his place, I don't know how he's controlling it yet. sense of speed my seatbelt has locked right now <laughs> oh I'm already moving my seatbelt oh. don't do that on the road oh yeah, yeah, yeah. won't recommend it not on the slow. road yeah we are going slow <laughs> that's why it's all under the controlled environment so I sorry I did not get a time to set this up like properly a camera because it just happened so quickly like everyone did went boom 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 and then everyone was in their cars and then off we were on the track but yeah I mean in all fairness you have to be in one of the cars to experience all of that because until and unless you do the, a video wouldn't justify how the cars are doing. And the nice thing is you got all the nicest and the best cars here uh, you got the Performante, yeah. the GT3 RS, the GT2 all of that. RS you got the Porsche the 720S, 720S. I mean, then you've got the uh, McLaren 5, 570S there as well. I think there was a 650S, and that was you an MSO. Correct, yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And then you've got the uh, SLS part design behind, very rare. You've got the Ferrari Portofino. Oh, yeah. But the, one of the best cars. But the, one of the best cars you'll see here today and make sure you video this one is the, the Ferrari Pista. Oh yeah, which yeah, is yeah. I one of my black and yellow, yeah. Absolutely, Absolutely phenomenal car. Yeah. One of the best cars you'll ever take on the track. Wow. Uh, but and if you speak to Jazz, we get a chance to interview yeah, yeah, yeah. ask him, he'll tell you how crazy that car is on the track as well. So wow, you got I'm all sure. of the best of the best supercars and hypercars here today. Look at it, it's, it's yeah. got orange. Look, it's already heated up on oh, his exhaust. Yeah, yeah, ready is. to call, catch fire. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and that's just two laps, by the way. Yeah, that's that's right. just two laps, and this is what happens. And this wasn't even 50% of what these cars are capable of. Oh, not even 20%. Not even 20%. Not even 20%. Yeah, 20%. 20%. So, yeah, I mean, we'll, someday I think. <laughs> I would like to go with this guy on a proper track day on this track for sure. I'd love to take you, buddy. Love to oh, take yeah, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
so thank you what an absolutely stunning drive that was although it was two laps but i'm sure we, I, i got to know a lot about in personally like the hurricanes <laughs> and the aventadors and everything because experience man but anyway thank you hiran so pleasure. much so much look forward for thank another you, session with you anytime um, yeah and <laughs> have fun with the catch the camel tour thank you very much i finally found a 488 Pista. I couldn't find the owner because he's busy somewhere. I think I tried finding him as well, but this car was parked here, so I thought I might as well show you guys what is the forwarded Pista and starting off with the brand shiny carbon wheels and look at the caliper with the yellow Ferrari detail. This car is completely black and yellow. Who would have thought a Ferrari would look this good? It is seriously so good. It looks stunning in this color, especially during the evening time. Go to my Instagram and see all the photos that I'll be posting on these cars and various various of the cars that are going to be featured in the video. So yeah, star. It's got this coupe. or or whatever that aerodynamic thing is so it goes the air goes from under the the bumper and comes on top of the bonnet and it flows basically and that flow continues from top to this spoiler which is again a movable one so yeah those are your diffusers dual exhaust tips and then pretty much everything is carbon on this because yes it's pista this and the logo with a carbon bits around and even this all the way continuing all of that so yeah i mean this looks gorgeous apparently it went on the track but i unfortunately couldn't get the footage because at the same time i was also on the track Oh my god what an awesome evening it has been one thing i forgot to mention was this amazing event is organized by the 9 degree supercar tours make sure to check them out they organize all these amazing tours for whoever was visiting to dubai as well and people living out here so if you ever want a supercar experience make sure to check these guys out just don't even check it out just make sure to book A, a tour with these guys and this is what you're going to get all of this all these fancy cars you will get up close with them in fact i have another bed which is going for a passenger laps so i am going in a mercedes gts amg gts yes but anyways i am just going to be enjoying that ride and not going to be not going to be filming it so anyways give it a thumbs up if you like this video and a sub will be massively appreciated until we meet next time bye bye